All right, gainers, it's a brand new Monday. We got a brand new drop list for you, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Welcome back, gainers, to another incredible, fantastic episode of Comic Gator! <gasps> and if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Royal Highness, looking very lovely, doing that princess way, so bow down and respect. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Coco's somewhere over there. She's hiding. She's sleeping. All right, guys, so, uh,. We're back at you here on this great Monday that it is, and we have a brand new drop list for you because every week comics be dropping and uh, we're reporting on it, so that's kind of how it goes. We did miss miss last week's drop list because some uh, there's stuff going on. Uh, we had a con, and uh, so we uh, did you guys a little favor and we added a couple extra books in. So I think we have seven books on today's. Normally we do five drop list books, but we have seven, and it's kind of a special. Uh, episode because for some weird reason Riri has made the drop list way too much and she should not be on this list so That's we are so giving weird. you a service announcement on these Riri books mm -hmm. let it's... you know yeah there might be time to get these Riri's so mm -hmm. it's also might be time for Zach to take a sip well I'm cheating a little bit it's not beer it's a root beer it's <laughs> not like root beer it has some sugar in there no caffeine I have already pounded two energy drinks today because we had to do a lot of work. So I can't do any more today. So but I'm going for the mug. Let's get into this, guys. Apparently, mug is not as good as a and I don't know. Maybe leave a comment down below what's your favorite root beer. We're taking a poll. Well, I know what my favorite beer is. Root beer? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's delicious. I like Henry Weinhardt. But a and has real aged vanilla, guys. Aged? Delicious. Like they left it outside? Yes, to mature, mature, like a, like a fine wine. All right. All right, let's get into the comics, because that's what y'all came here for. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are new to the drop list, uh, the Comic Games group, we like scour the internet for hot lists, trending lists, all kinds of stuff. From a year ago, we're trying to see what books were like really, really crazy hot a year ago, and books that have dropped and taken a dip in price for any number of reasons. Maybe people forgot about the spec, maybe the spec's over, Maybe the movie came out, maybe it wasn't good, maybe it was good and the book went down. But we're kind of just reporting you on these books that were really expensive and they're a little bit cheaper now. Or a lot cheaper and maybe it's a good idea to pick them up. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a good idea not to pick them up. And, and this is all our opinion and we'll let you know, you know. But this is our list and we mm -hmm. made it for you. So let's do it. Alright guys, so like I said, this is kind of a special reread. Uh, episode two. So first up on the list, we have Iron Heart number nine from 2019. Uh, this is a really cool book. It's done by Lucio Vachio and Eve Ewing are the creative group on this. But this is an important book because you have first meeting of Shiri and Riri together. And uh, just first off, it's an awesome freaking cover. Like uh, they look, both look amazing on it. Look, like Riri's hair is really cool on it. But, uh, you know, for some weird reason, this book has taken a dip in price, and I don't know why. I can't tell you why mm -hmm. it's taken a dip in price, but uh, it has, and it might be a good time to get it. So, I don't know, Zach. What do you think? What's the prices on this guy? So, price of a year ago for a CGC 9.8 on eBay was $512. Now price, $150. What? Steel. It's a steal right now. Yes, uh, the range of price over a period of a year is $107.50. To five hundred and twelve dollars, huge. Average sales two hundred dollars and thirty one cents. It's not a bad pickup. If they're gonna introduce Riri, Riri Which and they are. will, we already seen. We already seen her, and she's already been in the previews. And who's gonna help work on her uh, on her costume? It's probably gonna be Shuri because she's very mm -hmm. technologically advanced. I don't know as much information as Riri, about Riri as I should. Like, did she make her own costume? I think there was like probably a some prototype kind of, armor. She has like the prototype armor. She probably had some mm -hmm. kind of collaboration with Tony Stark, but Tony Stark is dead. This is just my assumption. So she's probably going to be working with Riri or Shuri. 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 Mm -hmm. Riri's going to work with Shuri. So she, that's where it's going to probably show up. So this is probably going to be a fairly significant key. And for $150 for a 9.8. You can't, you can't it's criminal. Beat it. It's criminal. Can't beat it. The movie hasn't even come out yet, and she has her own Wait, TV yeah. show, which is they've already seen footage of her for her Ironheart TV show. Mm -hmm. She's already filming it. Yes. Yeah. She's coming, guys. What it's the heck? Just, it's crazy. It's crazy, guys. It's crazy. I know. It's like, 
So Tony. Service announcement. All right. Mm -hmm. Next up on the list, and it's surprising we have a lot of these books today. Mm -hmm. A lot of them we ended up having, which could be good or could be bad, but we love Riri at this household. So, so we got Spider Men. I know I always get this confused. Spider Men number one from 2012. It's like cool that they changed the A to an E for this. Yes. But uh, this is Jim Chung. And Brian Michael Bendis was the creative group on this. Look how cool this cover is. But you have first meeting of Peter Parker and Miles Morales uh, briefly in this story. But the first time they ever actually ever met, they were kind of crossing over between the two uh, multiverses. But this is a limited series, so it's only a five-book series. And uh, I think number one and number two are the pretty good keys in this. But this book got hot a year ago. There was a lot of speculation that they were already going to bring Miles into the MCU and uh, it doesn't seem like that's happening quite yet, you know, with everything going on. There, you know, Secret Wars announcement, there's always that chance they're going to, like, pop him over from the other universe. That's always a possibility. But um, there hasn't been much going on yet. Then that was kind of the big theory a year ago. There's all the announcements going on that kind of put that a little bit quiet. But uh, this book definitely went down a little bit. And don't forget, there is a newsstand version of this book, which garners a little more value. There's also ratios. And there's a second printing uh, where Miles is wearing the mask. Oh, okay. So you can tell the second printing because he's got the mask on. But, I don't know, Zach, how far did this book drop? Well, it dropped quite a bit. Uh, prices a year ago for CGC 9.8 on eBay was $150. Now it's $56.57. For a 9.8? For a 9.8. Uh, range, $53 to $219.99. Uh, average price is $146.80. It's... It's kind of interesting about this book because the meeting already really happened in the Edge of Spider-Verse movie, but it hasn't happened in, you know, on the silver screen, as Adam calls it, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of other people. But the problem is with that is I, I think it's going to take a while because they they would, not not Andrew Garfield, uh, Tom, told, Holland. Tom Holland. Would have almost <laughs> There's too many spider man There's a lot of Spider-Mans. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the problem is about that, he would almost have to be like, okay, I'm done being Spider-Man. And then Miles Morales would have to come in because there can't really be two Spider-Mans as I see it on, you know, in the MCU or in Sony, unless it's in like two different studios. True. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be, be uh, difficult to see. They did show his uncle though. Aaron, his uncle Aaron was in the first Spider-Man movie. Yeah. That's pretty Played cool. by Childish Gambino. Yeah. But... Other than that, I mean, this might be a slightly long-term spec, but for $56, $0.57, $0 about $50 for 9 points, that's a pretty dang good deal. I'm just a fan of this book. Mm -hmm. why, yeah. It's a good book. <coughs> All right, guys. A little cop action here. All right, next up on the list, and surprisingly, a lot of these books were all Marvel, but we did have a DC book in here for you. We have... Ghost Rider number 28 from volume 2, 1992, 90s uh, goodness here. But uh, this is first cameo of the Midnight Suns and uh, first caretaker Lilith and Meat Market, our favorite meat market. I don't know why I didn't write down who uh, wrote, worked on this book. I should have done that. I usually do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a cool, really cool book and huge speculation on this. There was all this speculation that they were going to rock Ghost Rider any day now. You know, they're going to go that... Dark side, you got Blade coming out, you got Moon Knight, Ghost Rider only makes sense. A year ago, I mean, we were looking at this book, all of a sudden, all those Ghost Rider keys went crazy. I had like number two, number one, 28, uh, this 31, 32, yeah. whatever that was. Yeah, they were all just going nuts. And then we got the list, you know, we're going phase five, phase six. I didn't see any Ghost Rider on that list. So you're looking at these books now, and he's coming, but the books dropped down. You know, all these books are starting to like, that we were all looking for, all kind of went uh, on the low. So uh, keep an eye out. There is a new stand variant for this book that garnishes quite a bit more value because it is that, you know, later on uh, 90, well, not later on 90s, but it's a little bit older on, or older on that new stand front. But right. more importantly, Zach, how far did it drop? So we got prices for the direct and the new stand. So direct, the price was a year ago for a CGC 9.8, $550 to now $128.50, where the newsstand is $710 to $255. So both of them drops really, really hard. And the range for both direct and newsstand, I didn't want to figure out which one was which, was $76 to $869. $869 is obviously newsstand. Uh, average price, $207. I mean, both of them are a, a screaming deal. 
I mean, it's a really, really good idea to pick up this book. It's probably not the easiest thing to get a 9-8 with all of the black cover. I mean, $128 for a direct. If you want to spend a little more, get that new stamp that's slightly rarer and kind of looks better. You know, $255 isn't bad either. Or you could just buy 25 of these on the cheap and then pre-screen them all for 90 right? That's and true. just hope for the best. That's true. You know, there's That's cheap true. that as cheap as they are right now. This is the time to do that. It's gonna it's gonna get about yeah. It's gonna get back up to that five hundred mark and the seven hundred mark. Mm -hmm. So it's like money in the pocket. Money in the pocket. I like it. Right in the pocket. All right. All right. Bye. Cool, cool. All right. Now this is, next book is a is a book near and dear to Zach's heart. You have uh Daredevil number nine, volume two from 1999. You got Joe Caseta and David Mack, a creative group on this. Um, you got first appearance of Echo. And uh, uh, this book obviously was super hot a year ago with the, the Hawkeye TV show going on. And, uh, you know, she's obviously, did, the character was really cool in the show. I was really excited about it. And then obviously now she's going to be getting her own solo title. But a lot of her books all tanked heavily after the show. And uh, right after the Hawkeye show, which is which is sad. But, it, you know, it happens. And it's a good time for you to pick it up. Because that's, mm -hmm. everything kind of goes, especially these characters that are going to keep coming. That's not the end for them. The heroes, a lot of times the heroes, villains, are sometimes are one and done. But the heroes are kind of like go up and they go down and they go up. And depending on how it goes and uh, depending on how good her show is, uh, might be a good time to snatch this up. And don't forget, there is a new stand for this one as well, which garners is quite a bit more value. And uh, I don't know, Zach, how low has she gone? So, prices from a year ago for our CGC 9.8 was $697.77. Now, 315 dollars and 75 cents range 300 to 905 that was the high Ooh. ever mm -hmm. i did not write average so apparently oops my bad it's probably like 200 bucks no actually the average that would make like 400. sense <laughs> I, oh i think it was 400 now okay. that i think uh, i just totally forgot to write it down but yeah uh another decent book two things that's really important about this character one she's a death character which is really awesome that they're making a superhero yeah. character that's death. And she's Native American. So it's like, it's it's a win. It's a win-win. It's pretty awesome. And one of my favorite female characters. Yeah, yeah. It's so great. She's like Taskmaster on steroids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really great character. Oof. Great. Love I'm excited. Fun. I'm excited for the TV show. Yeah, for her to get, her, to get her own show. It's mm -hmm. really, really cool. All right. Okay. We promised it, and we're going to deliver. There's a DC book on the drop list. So we got something for you to look out for. And uh, this is Tales of the Teen Titans num number 44 from 1984. And uh, you got George Perez and Marv Wolfman. Marv Wolfman? Yeah. What? Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I went over my head. Yeah. yeah I went over my head. I thought we were doing that every time we said Marv Wolfman. Woo. Okay. But, um... This is obviously a really important book because you got Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing, formerly Robin, for the first time. And, uh, you know, this book has had a lot of speculation. There's, I mean, they haven't really done a really cool Nightwing character, like, in a movie yet. And everybody's in love with Nightwing right now. Like, mm -hmm. his series, right, uh, current ongoing series is considered one of the best books for DC currently right now. Yes. Like, what they have ongoing story. Like, everybody's in love with the story. The artwork's amazing. The story's great. And, like, everybody's hounding for, like, a Nightwing story. Night Nightwing movie to go along with this. I mean, they've just teased, they've teased Robin a little bit. We didn't even get a full Robin in Christopher Nolan, you know, in the movie. So, um, surprisingly, you know, it's dropped a little bit. I don't think this one's dropped hugely. But it's, you know, if you're looking to pick this up, it kind of goes very well with... Um, uh, the Slade Wilson book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. New Teen Titans number two. Yeah, so if you're looking, you're trying to get both of them. Uh, but I don't know. How how far has it dropped, Zach? Like, like Adam said, it was a very stable book. A year ago, for a CGC 9.8, it was $510. Now it's $406.75. It's a $100 drop, nothing too crazy. Range throughout the entire year it was $399 to $700. Mm -hmm. Average sales, 506 31 At it's a, it's a solid book. It's it's not going anywhere. People love this book. It's a DC book that's being stable in this type of market. That's telling you something mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. That's telling you something. It's an, again, it's a buy. Uh, right now, maybe not a 9.8. 
to go after, but definitely a raw copy if you can get for a decent deal. Yeah. That's what I would say. Nice. Mm-hmm. I concur I with this story. Concur. All right. Last but not least, you made it all the way to the end of the list. We have a double uh, book action for you here. We actually have one of the books because the other one we've actually sent into CGC. And uh, it took so long it made it to the drop list by the time. Yes. We sent it before it was on the hot list, and now we're getting it back. we haven't even gotten it back, and it's on the drop list. So it's been that long, but uh, we got Invincible Iron Man number seven and number nine. We'll lump these two together because they are both amazing. Uh, as you can see, we do have number nine here. This is from volume two, 2016, but you have Mike Diodato and Brian Michael Bendis on the creative group on this. And in number seven, you have first cameo of Riri Williams and... Yeah, number nine, you have first full appearance of Riri Williams in the prototype armor. And uh, yeah, both of these books were insanely hot. It was hard mm. to even find them like raw for under a hundred yes. for quite a while. I mean, I remember trying to buy nine off this guy for a hundred dollars in a raw and he wouldn't sell, he wouldn't sell it to me in the raw, yeah. you know? And now it it's like, we ended up with two decent copies of the seven and we were like, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna send these in the CGC. The good grades will come back. They'll be worth some good money. And not a 98 is crazy cheap. Crazy cheap for a 7 and a 98. I couldn't believe how cheap this book has gotten. And her movie hasn't even come out yet. Her TV show hasn't even come out yet. So, um, and she looks cool as hell. So, in the, uh, in the preview. So, no one's going to be good. This movie's, you know... Wakanda Forever looks like it's going to be like top tier Marvel goodness we've been, yes. we've been wanting in our lives for the past couple of years. So... Zach, hit him with the numbers and let him know if it's a good time to pick this up. So, for the number seven, Mental Buyer Man number seven, uh, the price is $382 for a CGC 9.8 a year ago. Now it's $200. Uh, range is $152.50 to $500. Average sales is $286.08. Okay, dropped a little bit. Not quite half, but close. Uh, Iron Man number nine, $899 to $475 for a CQC 9.8. Range, $260.55 to $999.99. Average sales is $628.27. So the seven dropped, well, the nine dropped more than the seven, but the seven is at an even a lower, crazier price than it already was. Mm -hmm. Both of them are a buy because this is, you can kind of, uh, like, Put it at the same level as mild, but like female version. You yeah, know, I yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I'm. Both of them have a crazy variant mm -hmm. for the number yeah. nine. The number nine very though it has gone crazy. The ratio, yeah, six thousand mm -hmm. dollars for the number nine, and surprisingly, the number uh, the uh, <laughs> the unvariant one is still going for under five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would go after both of these books. Uh, I think there's a, probably a little bit more meat on the bone on the seven, but the nine would also be a good pick. Yeah, we saw one go for like one twenty five or something like that, and then nine eight on the seven. I was like, good lord! Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> I was like, there? I would buy that all day. And you know, the craziest things happening right now. Pretty much all but one book, I would recommend buying in a CGC nine point eight right now. I can't even pick which one would be a, even a better deal. Honestly, I mean. I'm biased. Their little number nine would be pretty awesome, but the number seven would also yeah. be. That would be a good deal too. One hundred fifty dollars for nine point eight. I mean, not investing too much and possibly very high returns. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I I would say go after the seven, but I'm kind of biased towards the Daredevil nine. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, Locked I can agree seven. with that. I like I like that synopsis. All right, guys. So um, that's gonna wrap up. Our Monday drop list for you. We gave you a little bit of extra gains to think about this week and some books to maybe go after. Totally up to you. We're not twisting anybody's arm. These are books we might go after soon. Uh, definitely, we're going to be looking out for these. But uh, as usual, guys, if you like the show, love the show, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know what's going on because we are going live again this Wednesday at 6, right? No, 7. 7. This week's going to be 7. I think I said 6 last time, but it's going to be 7 this week. 7 p.m. Yeah. This one's going to be 7 p.m. Daylight time. Yeah. So make sure you come hang out with us. We always have a good time and chill. And, uh... Yeah. Zach, you got anything else? Yeah, sure. How do you do that is... You have to go in the store. You got to provide a service. 
that everybody should get, guys, because it's very important. And you sling in this product, you sling on that, that's how you become a Nike shoe salesman. Because feet, health is important, guys. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, no, no, no. No, that's good. All right, Nike shoe salesman. Get those gates. Just do it. The goddess. <laughs> Just do it. Is that the motto for Nike? Yeah. <laughs> Just do it, guys. Get those gates. All right, until we see you next time, stay safe and remember. Woo, get those gates. Don't forget about Riri.